perpetually rumored, but never seem to materialize. Everything will soon change. Apple has huge plans for their mixed reality headset. The company jumps into Meta and Microsoft territory with better optimizations and features that could push the device even further, and possibly at a higher price. Based on patent filings, Apple has been experimenting with virtual and augmented reality technologies for almost 20 years. With mixed reality exploding in popularity, Apple's dabbling is growing more serious. In January this year, Bloomberg Apple reporter Mark Gurman revealed that he heard the company intends to unveil the headset in the spring ahead of its worldwide developers conference in June. Apple is conducting a study in which hundreds of employees are working on AR and VR and exploring ways to use new technologies in future Apple products. Over the past few years, mixed reality hiring has increased and Apple has acquired several companies in the niche. 2023 looks like a busy year for VR headsets, including the PlayStation VR 2 and MetaQuest 3. Apple has already planted plenty of AR clues hinting at the future of mixed reality, working with augmented reality on its iPhones and iPads for years. As for what its device might look like, chances are good that the headset could work in the same scenario as Meta's recent high-end headset, the Quest Pro, focusing on work, mixed reality, and eye tracking on board. Registered Trademarks a series of filings linked to Apple have been found in several countries, including the US, the EU, the UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Costa Rica, and Uruguay. Every Apple product runs an operating system and software. The upcoming mixed reality headset is no exception. Hints at Apple's naming convention for this new operating system have been discovered through code leaks and documentation. The operating system for this headset may be called XROS. Recent trademark filings reported by Bloomberg have shown that reality frequently appears in Reality One, Reality Pro, and Reality Processor. Apple's existing iOS AR software framework is called Reality Kit. Namewise, recent news suggests the headset will be named Apple Reality Pro. Light as a feather. The device's body could be a real advantage for Apple. Woe's March 2021 report claimed that the Reality Pro could weigh as little as 150 grams, roughly half the weight of many competing devices. For example, the $1,000 Valve Index VR headset weighs more than five times what a Reality Pro weighs. This low-volume goal will be achieved by using light fabric instead of heavy plastic in the frame. Multiple sources claim that former Apple design guru Johnny Ive was brought into the team as a consultant. Given Ives' penchant for fragile and light devices, we wouldn't be surprised if ultra-lightweight rumors come true. The device would be made from aluminum, glass, and cushions, reminiscing Apple's $550 AirPods Max headphones. The battery would be separate from the headset itself, with users tethering it to the Reality Pro and stashing it in a pocket. That will help reduce the headset's weight and offset any concerns of having a warm battery exploding on your head. Displays Rumors suggest the Reality Pro will have two or three displays. There will be two high-resolution 4K micro-OLED displays with up to 3,000 pixels per inch for an 8K full resolution. Sony is expected to supply the display modules that Apple will use, though Apple may also use some OLED displays from Samsung. Micro-OLED displays are built directly onto chip wafers rather than a glass substrate, resulting in thinner, smaller, and more power-efficient displays. They allow 4 to 20 micrometers in pixel sizes, compared to 40 to 300 micrometers with standard OLED panels. They also have a faster microseconds response time, making them ideal for AR and VR applications. The headset will also include an outer external display, a standard OLED display supplied by LG. The OLED will be a simple exterior indicator display that does not require higher quality micro OLED technology. The outward-facing display will likely show the facial expressions of the headset's wearer to the people around them to cut down on the sense of isolation felt when using the device. The display will have an ultra-low refresh rate and reduced power consumption to keep it from draining the battery. Apple will use pancake lenses that will allow for a thin, lightweight design, more expensive than the Fresnel lens technology used for other VR headsets, but much lighter. Cameras and iris scanning
Reality Pro will feature over a dozen optical cameras for tracking hand movements, mapping the environment, capturing facial features and body movements, and projecting visual experiences. One of the main features is lifelike avatars with accurate facial features captured by the included cameras. Each eye will be tracked by at least one camera, letting the headset accurately show the user's gaze on an avatar. Eye and hand tracking will be the main control method for the headset, with Apple using cameras to monitor the eyes and hands. The wearer can control the headset by looking at an on-screen item to select it, for example, then using a hand gesture, like a pinch, to activate the item on the screen. Eight camera modules will reportedly be used for see-through augmented reality experiences for the user. Another six modules will be used for innovative biometrics. One camera will also be available for environmental detection. Rumors suggest the headset can accurately map surfaces, edges, and dimensions of rooms, employing short and long-range LiDAR scanners. For privacy and security, the headset will integrate an iris scanner that can read the pattern of the user's eye, allowing an iris scan to be used instead of a password and for payment authentication. The iris scanner could allow two people to use the same headset, a feature not available on competing headsets like Meta's new Quest Pro. Processors Two Mac-level M2 processors will be included in the headset, with a main SoC with CPU, GPU, memory, and dedicated image signal processor. The chips are fabricated on the 5 nanometer process and will not be made with the 3 nanometer process that Apple plans to use for devices coming in 2023. The headset will not rely on an iPhone or Mac for processing power. It will feature independent power and storage. Reality Pro will also include an H2 chip to allow the headset to form an ultra-low latency connection with the second generation AirPods Pro and future AirPods models. Apple is even considering making AirPods mandatory for the headset for the best audio experience, as third-party earbuds do not work well because of latency problems. It is also important to note that there is no 3.5mm headphone jack on the device. Apple has completed work on the SoCs for the headset and will optimize for wireless data transmission, compressing and decompressing video, and power efficiency for maximum battery life. However, they do not have a neural engine like Apple's other chips. Apple Watch and AirPods could be great companions. Apple already has a collection of wearables that connect to the iPhone, both of which fit glasses. Its AirPods can connect for audio, and the watch can be a proper remote control. Why not? Apple Watch already acts as a remote control for the Apple TV or for connecting to the iPhone's camera. Future Apple headsets could also have similar features and virtually expand their display. Headsets offer enhanced additional features that show up discreetly, like a halo. The Apple Watch can also provide tactile sensations that are hard to get from hand gestures or touch bezels on glasses. The rattling feedback on the watch can give a tactile feedback to virtual things. An inexpensive pair of HoloKit X phone glasses already use these ideas. It uses the iPhone to display the headset and cameras, spatial stream audio to AirPods, and the Apple Watch for gesture control. Apple could do the same. Price and release date The target date for Reality Pro has been shifting for some time, with a December report by renowned analyst Ming-Chi Kuo suggesting it will arrive in the second half of 2023. Quo said the development toolkit could be delivered to interested parties two to four weeks after the presentation. Apple is developing at least two devices, including a mixed reality headset to be released in 2023 and a more affordable version later in 2024 or 2025. Some will need these two years. The rumored $3,000 price tag might bite. Will we see something new? The idea is that Apple Reality Pro can be worn all day, anywhere, and replace your laptop and phone. The headset can, according to rumors, display max screen and naturally run video calls. Although the battery would last around two hours, you'll still need a phone in your pocket. But what does Apple Reality Pro offer? Mixed reality headsets are already here, and while some have found success, the demand is still relatively low. Apple might become that game changer that would release the right killer apps likely around fitness, video calls, and gaming. After all, they had done it many times before.